Yeah. Monday, July 13th, 6, 7, and 1, Ashland took on Natick for their playoff lives. Bottom of the second, Ashland trailing 1-0, 2-1, no outs, Andrew Keim at the plate. Again here. And he won't. He'll hit a liner over the glove of Christian Boschetto. Runner being waved around. And the throw in is going to be cut off. One run is in to score. An RBI single for Andrew Kine. Natick responded on the top of the third. One out, one on. Kennedy Wilson at the plate. Right up in the pitch. And this is hit into right field above the glove of Nick Burns. One run in, second run coming around. And the throw in is going to be right to Burns. Two run score on the two RBI single by Kennedy Wilson. Top of the fifth, Natick adds insurance. Ryan Welby at the plate with two on. And this is hit in the air to center field. Deep center field pushing Kai back. That'll drop in front of the wall. Runner being waved around from third. Kime will throw it in. Ball still in the outfield. And another Natick run will score. RBI triple for Ryan Welby. Natick never looks back, grabbing their fifth win of the year as they take down Ashland 5-1. Adam Mooney goes the distance, giving up one run on four hits and had five strikeouts. Kennedy Wilson went three for three at the plate. Had three RBIs and two runs. After losing another pair of games, Ashland played their final game of the regular season. Post 77 out of the playoff picture, but they aim to make things harder for Newton post 440. Bottom of the first, the post 77 bats got going. One and 16. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the third base side past the shortstop, and that will fall into left field for a base hit. Runner held up at third, and there will be runners on the corners. With no outs, as Holler aboard with the single. Brendan Thurber up to third, Nick Porter to the plate. On the ground, up the middle, slow roller, picked up by the second baseman, throw to third, and they do get the lead runner, or I should say the second runner. Thurber comes around to score. Andrew Kime do up on deck. And this is a liner over to the right, Side, and that'll drop into right field for a hit. Runner is going to be held up at third. It'll be second and third with one out for Andrew Kime. A double for Burns. Leg lift and the pitch. This hit in the air towards center field, towards the fence, and that'll get over the head of Devlin in center field. One run in, a second run is going to come in, and that is a two RBI double by Andrew Kime. Three to nothing in the bottom of the third. Post 77 added more. From the stretch, Runnels leading. Hit high in the air towards center field. It is handled. Burns going to try to score. The throw in is cut off, and it's four nothing. Post 77. Credit Cohan with the sacrifice flyout and RBI as Brendan Wolf will step in. Ashland knocks Newton down to 12 and 5 with the 4 to 1 win. Andrew Kime pitched the complete game, giving up one run on four hits. Kime also was a beast at the plate, going 3 for 3 with a double and two RBIs. Nick Burns went 2 for 3 with a double and two runs. Ashland post 77 finished the regular season 7, 10, and 1. All right, I'm here with head coach of Ashland Post 77, Derek Johnson. Coach, uh, pretty good season, a young team this year. Obviously, things didn't end up the way that you would have hoped, but certainly a lot of good experience gained this year by these players. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, coming into the year, I, you know, I took the job two weeks before the season started, and, you know, we had a lot of young kids, but, you know, we have some veterans that help them along the way. Um, you know, started off tough, but came on, you know, I had – Right before I went away for a couple of days, we were one three zero and one in our last four. We had a good spot to come in and beat some teams this week and get into the four team playoff. Fortunately, it didn't go the way it went when we wanted it to. So, but yeah, it was a strong year. Once we figured out, you know, getting a solid infield in there and you know not making the mistakes and capitalizing off other teams' mistakes, you know, we won some ball games and the hitting, hitting and pitching's always been there for us. It's just our defense. 
And it seems there's a good amount of versatility on this team, and there's been some defensive struggles, but a lot of moving pieces here that you could throw around the diamond, and it just seems that the defensive struggles are really an experience thing, and maybe a little bit because of the age. Uh, a little bit, you know, a couple of the moves we made were to get actually the younger kids in, um, you know, give them some time in there too. But at the same time, you know, it, it was all around. It wasn't just one person, whatever. And, you know, with, you know, kids, all right, hey, next man up, you know, if you're not going to make the plays and you were going to bring the next man in and we're going to keep doing that until we find someone that can stay there. And, you know, that's pretty much what we did. We found a good rotation as, you know, middle of the year came and stuck with it the rest of the year. Now, a great win to wrap up the season against a tough Newton team. 4-1, to one. Andrew Kime pitched a great game. Can you talk about his performance today? Oh, it was awesome. He hasn't really pitched that much for us this year, but, you know, with us, I think the only day off was Saturday, and we've been, you know, I don't know, can't think off the top of my head, a lot of games in a row. Didn't have anybody normal pitches to go today, and he got a spot start, and he did awesome. He pitched earlier in the week in relief, and uh, first game of the year other than that. So, but no, he was great today. He kept the ball down, ground balls, and then, you know, fly balls were majority outs. But other than that, yeah, he was really big for us today. So overall, how did your first season coaching Ashland Legion Baseball go? <laughs> Not too bad. It was fun, you know, ups and downs. But, you know, I'm looking forward to go at it early next year and, uh, you know, get the numbers out again and, you know, hopefully get it, you know, get a good solid team. You know, we got a good group of young kids you know, this year that we can build off of. But, you know, can't wait to get at it next year and see where we can go. Well, you still got the Commissioner's Cup to try to get, don't you? Absolutely. We, we're definitely going to try and go get that. And, you know, hopefully everything works out. So. All right, Coach. Well, uh, best of luck to you. We hope you're back for next season. And we look forward to uh, seeing the team next year. Appreciate it. Thank you.